Reporting for the Pony Express, I'm Eric Brombeck, and this is The Equestrian. To start us off tonight, we have Colin Peters reporting from the St. Croix Music Academy with an exceptional teacher. Valley Music Academy, located behind the Acapulco here in Stillwater, is a popular place for students to take music lessons. The recent recession was hard on their business, but finally they're making a comeback. Uh, wow, uh, Valley Music Academy uh, started in uh, 2003 in um, October. Um, three of us teachers came from Water Music, which I don't know if you've ever heard of, but it was a long time running uh, music store downtown Stillwater, and there was an ownership change there. So we essentially decided to move at that point, and that was 2003. Let's teach guitar, some of us teachers teach multiple instruments, but uh, I teach. Uh, Basically rock, but uh, many different genres of rock, uh, classical rock, uh, hard rock, uh, you know, metal. Uh, I've even taught the death metal stuff. Uh, yeah, our volumes uh, for all of us used to be a lot bigger before the recession in uh, 2008. You know, that took a big hit out of everybody, but uh, we were no exception to it. So, But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're still here and uh, we're all going strong, just gradually kind of climbing back. Uh, the good old days aren't quite yet back, but uh, we're getting there. And, uh, you know, if you look at Stillwater Music, which was uh, what became of Water Music, you know, they, they didn't survive. Uh, they went under in 2009. And uh, so just to uh, get through that was, was you know. <laughs> well, from all of us here at the Equestrian, we wish all the best to Valley Music Academy in the future. Thanks, Colin. I can really see his passion for music. Now we head over to the sports department at Stillwater Area High School to get an inside look at the boys' spring baseball season. Thanks, Eric. This is Brooke Thingvold here at Stillwater Area High School with the varsity and junior varsity baseball team tryouts. Um, our guys are a little uh, less experienced than we've had in the past, so getting guys uh, game experiences is going to be important and just trying to, trying to get our guys between our sophomore, juniors, and seniors to gel is going to be a really important part of our season. The varsity captains have played in many baseball leagues together over the years and through their camaraderie could bring this young team together. Our 10 year old baseball traveling team when we went 16 and 0 and also playing in Omaha, Nebraska when we were 14 years old is a pretty fun experience and <laughs> pretty warm too. Even though this is a young team, they are still setting their goals high by aiming for state and not letting an experience get them down. Uh, state tournament, I guess that's... To sum it up, pretty much, that's the big one. Uh, we all want to get to the state tournament, and uh, I think that Stillwater Baseball is a, has a big history of going to the state tournament, and uh, want to get back there. Even though bad weather is causing practices to be held inside rather than on the field, they are still staying positive. Um, well, we're starting out with the challenge of uh, our weather. Um, there's a lot of snow out there, which means we'll be getting outside a little later, um, and I think uh, just keeping guys positive inside and getting the practice we need done before we go outside is really important because right when we go outside we'll be starting games. It is evident that the captains have a passion for their sport and through their leadership they will reflect that onto the team. Um, I've always had a good time playing baseball. You know, it's a great team sport where you get to hang out with a lot of the guys, great, make great relationships with coaches and players. Despite some minor weather issues, this year is looking up for the baseball team. We are all looking forward to watching how the season unfolds. This is Brooke Thingvold with The Equestrian. Back to you, Eric. Thanks, Brooke. In related news, Minnesota Twins kicked off their season by playing the White Sox in Chicago on March 31st. Now to Emily Ness, getting a little technical with Stillwater's robotics team. The robotics team is off to a great start. Their competition took place March 27th through the 29th. I thought I was going to shoot too. Students make last minute adjustments before the competition. Uh, my job on the robotics team is assistant captain. Um, I help lead other subcategories. The objective is to throw a two foot ball into goals um, seven feet off the ground um, using a robot that has to be within 128 inch perimeter. Uh, my brother did robotics before I started, so I just followed his lead. You also have to pass the ball between team members uh, and 
the ability to throw it over a trust in the middle of the field? Um, well, one of my jobs on the team is being one of the three captains and as well as being one of the leaders. I am in charge of all the secretary kind of works, so organization, making sure everyone's signed up. Um, I like the people and just, I guess, the nerdiness of it, all the science-related things that go on. It's a great opportunity for students to see what engineering and design is like. It's a very realistic problem uh, that is similar to what you would do in the in a career field related to robotics or engineering. There's deadlines, there's, there's a monetary uh, limit, um, there's all kinds of constraints that make it very similar and very realistic as far as what experiences will be outside of the education realm. Thanks, Emily. It looks like they're doing very well. Also, speaking of ice cream, on April 5th, Stillwater's downtown ice cream shop at Nelson's opens up for the public. Now we go to Tyler Malmberg, who's planning to shake it up at Nutrition Revolution. Nutrition Revolution is located in the heart of downtown Stillwater. It is run and owned by Raina Loken. Her goal for Nutrition Revolution is to raise the awareness of nutrition in downtown Stillwater. Let's go take a look. Okay, so services that Nutrition Revolution provides are we offer health coaching. So when people come in here just for their daily breakfast or lunch, they're coming in to get their a shot of aloe, a tea, and also a shake. So it's going to be their healthy meal replacement for typically breakfast, lunch, or their post-workout smoothie. Um, with that, that's going to be kind of the main idea of the nutrition club as people are just coming in to get their good nutrition. Um, I tailor programs fit to my clients' needs and then I will actually coach them to their health and wellness goals, whether it's weight management for weight gain, weight loss, just getting that good nutrition and awesome energy. Um, otherwise, things for like fitness, heart health, basically a whole wide range of things for that. Um, we do also offer, we have different things like weight loss challenges, body transformation challenges, a free fit camp that I hold two or three times a week, so it's a free one hour workout. People come in and get their full body one hour workout. So, Nutrition Revolution is not a juice bar. Um, we're a nutrition club. So what we do is we actually are offering that good nutrition to the community, offering them actual full meal replacement shake versus other juice bars I'm not super familiar with, but typically it's more just juicing or just some type of smoothie that's not an actual meal. So the meals that we offer are gonna actually have all your macronutrients in it. So those healthy proteins, those healthy carbs, those healthy fats that your body needs to get that awesome energy so you can go throughout the day. Um, one of our shakes are gonna be under 300 calories, but it's gonna have a 24 grams of protein, 21 vitamins and minerals, so it's an essential meal replacement or post-workout smoothie. And it's actually gonna have as many nutrients as about a 1500 calorie plate of food, but only for less than 300 calories. So yeah, we offer it's more of a healthy meal versus just a shake you're coming to get. Looks like they're really shaking things up. I'm Tyler Malmberg of The Equestrian. See you later. Thanks, Tyler. On the topic of Stillwater Cuisine, Taco Bell recently reinvented breakfast. It's available weekdays until 11 a.m. Let us know what you think of Nutrition Revolution or any of our other stories by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, or visiting our website at sahsponyexpress.com. Thanks for watching.